starting air system. Note, the starting air shut-off valve must be opened to lead air from the bottles to the main starting air valve before the engine is started. To provide sufficient information about the operational parameters and to assure that the operating staff will notice significant changes in the system, it is important that the values from the instruments are checked and recorded every day. Click the components for further information. Starting air compressors should have a sufficient capacity too. Keep the pressure in the starting air bottle sufficiently high to start the engine. Fill the bottles from atmospheric pressure to maximum pressure in 60 minutes. Start air distributor. The start air distributor supplies starting air to the cylinders in correct order. It is driven by the camshaft. The relief valve protects against overpressure in the system. If the metal membrane in the relief valve is broken, the failure in the starting air system has to be detected before start. It is very important to place the disc correctly. Refill the lubricating chamber with grease twice a month.